Hi, in this video we're going to do a problem involving arithmetic sequences. The question is to find the general term of the arithmetic sequence. The sequence is 7, 4, 1, negative 2, and negative 5, and it goes on forever. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So the formula for the general term, or the nth term, is a sub n, which is the nth term, and that's equal to the first term, so a sub 1, plus n minus 1 times d. So we have n minus 1 common differences. d is called the common difference, and a sub 1 is the first term. So we just have to find a sub 1 and d, and then n here is the variable. So a sub 1 is the first term. So here we can see that it's 7. So a sub 1 is equal to 7. d is the number you add to each term to get the next. It's called the common difference. So to get from 7 to 4, we add negative 3. To get from 4 to 1, we add negative 3. To get from 1 to negative 2, we add negative 3. And to get from negative 2 to negative 5, we add negative 3. So we can see right away that little d, which is called the common difference, is equal to negative 3. Now we just take these numbers, a sub 1 and d, and plug them into our formula. So the general term, or the nth term, is equal to the first term, which is 7, plus n minus 1 common differences, or n minus 1 times d. So n minus 1 times negative 3. Now you could leave your answer like this, but it's probably not good. So it looks really bad, so let's clean it up. So a sub n is equal to 7. Now we can distribute this negative 3. Negative 3 times n is negative 3n. And then negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. We're almost done. Let's combine like terms. So 7 plus 3 is 10. So we have our final answer. The general term a sub n of the arithmetic sequence is equal to 3 plus 7, or 7 plus 3 is 10, minus 3n. And so that would be the answer in this case. So just a quick recap. You start by looking for your first term and your common difference, and then you just plug them into your formula for your general term, and that's it. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who is learning math and studying arithmetic sequences. Good luck.